What's going on guys, your boy Face Timber here, and if you look at the bottom right, yeah, that's right. That is right. Oh, wait. A legendary chest. I won it from battle, I'll show you the replay. Um, this guy, this guy played well. You know, I'm almost up to 2,500, like, it's been a good season, you know, like, with me pushing up. But here I drop off my Royal Giant and Fire Spirits, because they are a deadly combo. He was waiting for those Fire Spirits to suicide, and then I just zap right here because I want my Royal Giant to do as much damage. And then I drop off my Bomber to counter his Hog. He does get a couple swings off, which was, which was, eh, I, I would rather not have had that happen. But, like, yeah, this was in... This was an unfair matchup. He did have three muskets, which I do have a counter for. Like, I faced quite a few three musket decks, and like they do a lot of damage if they're not if they're not countered. Like, here you go, rocking rocketing his elixir pump, because I don't want him to have that elixir advantage. Now, if I had known that he had three muskets, I wouldn't have used that. But here I go, the same push, you know, same push, and I get his tower down to 119. I could have zapped that and arrowed, but I decided, nah. Here I go, countering the Mega Minion with my Mega Minion, you know. Like, mine, my cards are extremely more high level than his, like... Yeah, here he goes with his three muskets. I had my rocket up, and I just straight up rocketed him. Because that's a positive elixir trade on my end. So, I was, and I wasn't about to take that damage. So here I go sending out my bomber. He didn't even try and uh, counter that. Um, he was about to just let that happen. Here I go with my inferno tower on his hog rider. Which was a good, smart play, and then I uh, use Fire Spirits for the Mega Minion. Because I don't want him to take out my Inferno Tower. And he goes dropping off his, uh, his, um, Valkyrie, and I think I drop, yeah, I drop off my Royal Giant in his base. Here he goes zapping over here. And then I was like, what the hell am I going to do against this? Like... There's three muskets. I'm like, rocket it where they're gonna stand. So, right there. And I get the Mega Minion, which is nice. That was really good on my part. And once this battle was over, I was like, bruh. I got a freaking legendary chest from this battle. So, see, he wasn't even... The able to take get close with my tower like and then I pick up the victory with a 1-0 so I just wanted to show you guys this um because normally if you get this chest in an offer it's normally like five dollars worth of gems so but I got it in a battle hang on let me donate a wizard right now I'm in a classic challenge right now so um, here's the deck. If you want to copy it, go ahead. I, I mean, I could really give a crap if you copy it. It's a really stable deck, and right now I have the Elite Barbarians in my shop, which I don't have enough gems for. But, uh, it's not too bothered by it. I already have them up to level 3. Now, if I hadn't gotten them up to level 3, and I hadn't even gotten them yet, this probably would have gotten, this would have gotten me up to level 8. Elite Barbarians, which is not that bad, you know. I, I do have the bowler in my shop, and uh, if you're wondering why I have 15,000 coins, it's because I had a special offer with um, this right here, the Magical Chest, um, 1,200 gems, and uh, 100,000 gold. That's why all my commons, rares, and epics are leveled up. Um... But, yeah, like, I'm going to be pushing towards that legendary arena. And I'm 1,500 XP off of level 10. Hopefully I can get there. 
And as always, my friends, I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.